Hello, hi. I am so happy to be here. Oh, I'm gonna turn my Instagram on live. There we go. So uh, this will be shot live here in the Facebook group. It's also gonna be in Instagram on live and the recordings for this challenge, the three challenge are going to be held in this group. So feel free to drop any questions um, in the comments below when I post this or to email me. You're gonna get an email after this to let me know what your takeaways were and if you have any questions about today. So, so glad for all of you to be here and to join me today. It's a beautiful day. Please ignore the mess behind me. I am currently transitioning offices because my two-year-old is becoming such a big girl. She's moving into her room. And as many of you know, I'm six months pregnant and going to have a baby. So we're doing a lot of shifting in our home right now. So, hey, welcome to day one of how to tune you to your body to manifest abundance. This is what I am all about, and I am so glad that you came to join me on today's challenge. This will be the first one of the year, but it's not going to be the last. I love to connect with women. The only thing I don't like about the challenge, per se, is that I don't get to see your faces. Um, oh, I and I see that question. I didn't move to the East Coast. I, did, I used to live in the East Coast in Boston. I am still in Oregon right now. Um, but this is my home and I'll probably stay here forever. I love to chat. I love to travel, but Oregon is definitely my home and this will always be my home base. There's a little sign behind me. It says, uh, this is welcome to our little sanctuary because that's exactly how I feel about my home. And that's exactly how I want you to feel in your body. Um, I love to help women guide women to feel at home in their bodies. And so I love working with entrepreneurs, creatives, go-getters, powerhouses of women that want to live in their soul's purpose, have so many dreams and aspirations, and know that they're capable of so much and want to give to the world. I believe that nobody should be ahead of each other, that all women can be together. I don't know if you know this or felt this, but the frequency of the world is changing, and that is happening because so many women on this planet are actually manifesting the lives that they know that they have always deserved. And I didn't even realize this years ago that I've been actually manifesting my life. But when I was able to key into the things that is helping me do this to make it the life that I deserve and the life that I've always been craving, these are the cheat codes that I want to give every single woman to help them, you know, whatever your dream life looks like, that's what I want to help you create. Is it, you know, to be the best parent, to wake every up every day and to know that you get to create and build and be this business owner that you've always seen yourself be. If it's to, you know, make lots of money, I want to help you make lots of money. If it's to be able to take that money and go on vacations and travel the world, I want to help you travel the world. Whatever it is, it's going to look differently for all of us. So the first thing that I always do whenever I meet with a client, whenever anything I do really is, and I do this with myself, I did this before I got on here, is that I want you to tune into your body and help yourself in this moment. So I want you to try this. We're going to do a body scan and I want you, if it feels okay to close your eyes or lightly gaze somewhere. And I want you to just notice from your head down to your toes, very gently and very slowly, just like a scan. You're going to notice what your body is doing here, what it's saying to you, because your body is talking to you. And we're gonna get more into this in day two, but we're just gonna get a taste of this in day one and why it's doing this. It's constantly talking to you. So I want you to say and to notice, where is my body talking to you, to me today? <sighs> Some things I'm noticing is that my heartbeat is a little faster and that's because I get so jacked up about talking about this stuff with any 
one, basically. And we can feel dysregulated or a little bit hyper aroused when we're really excited. But the difference is between regulation and dysregulation is if I'm able to cope with this excitement. And I am. I'm extremely passionate to be here in this moment. So what are you noticing in your body? Are you noticing any tightness, any tension? And just kind of focus in on those areas where you feel maybe some tingliness. The body talks in different ways. And then as you notice, there's so many ways to help bring balance into this, into your body. Put a hand on your heart or maybe that part of your body. Maybe it's for a lot of us women, it's our solar plexus area, even could be your shoulders. Whatever feels really intuitive to you, just put a hand there. And take a deep breath. Really just feeling your body, your belly rise and fall with your breath. And then let yourself know that in this moment, you are safe to be here. You are safe to be here. I'm not expecting anything from you. You don't have to expect anything from yourself for this to go one way or another. It's just that you get to be here. You get to be present. You know, this is a choice choosing to be present with another human being, with multiple human beings. And then just notice your body's response. And I want to preface that sometimes, oftentimes, especially when I first started to do this work, um, this type of work made me feel activated. So if somebody were to tell me like to, to tell myself, I feel safe in this moment, that might actually make my system feel triggered. And I'm going to get into why that is today. And so that doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. If it feels a little bit activating at times, that's just information for you to take about what your body is telling you because it's telling you a story and our world teaches us to look outside the story, but we're going to look in here today. So, Now that we're in hopefully a better place of regulation, we can take in learning. So our body is talking to us. And most of us entrepreneurs have these stories in our head. And this is what I hear a lot from entrepreneurs. I feel stuck. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, I'm doing, I'm afraid to say something wrong or do something wrong. I'm annoying my audience. I'm annoying other people by what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what to do. So we play it small. We don't say the things that we actually feel in our heart and our souls and our bodies that we want to say. Um, we don't have clarity. We don't have clarity on like who we're serving, what our message is, what we want to give to this world. Um, we look to other people for the answers. You know, I have answers for my own, my own world and my own body. And I know a lot of information about the nervous system and mother wounds, abandonment wound, ancestral healing. But the number one thing I say to my clients is you are your own guide. You already have all the answers within you about what you need and where you're going in the world. My job as a healer, as a mentor is to help clear that garbage out of the way that somebody, some places in your life that happened in your life put there to make it all gunky so that you could not have clarity and confidence and all those wonderful things about who you are to know what you're doing and where you're going. So we also, number one thing I see with entrepreneurs is we're always waiting for the, the other shoe to drop. We're waiting for that next bad thing to happen. It's like the next person to tell me no, the next person um, that's not going to think I'm doing something right. Um, I'm going to be looking into my bank account and I'm not going to see the numbers that are going to help me live the life that I need to live. So this type of energy that we feel, it seeps into our entire lives. We, then we get you know, cranky, irritated, annoyed with our partner. And so we pop off or say something we don't mean. 
then when our child gets dysregulated, we are already in dysregulated state, and that just means not balanced. And then we yell or do something that we wouldn't normally do with our child. Or we do it, we don't connect with our friends. We feel really detached from people in our community. And this is a cycle because then we feel guilty usually. And we put that guilt and that shame into our business. And it spirals out of control. So why is this? This is because we are stuck in a state of dysregulation, which just equals survivalism. We are stuck surviving in our body, which means that our logic brain and our survival emotion brain is not working together. When they work together, we have balance in our lives and we can think rationally. We can understand. We know date and time. We we can put pieces together without being reactive about things because we're able to be present in the moment instead of giving in to those stories that I'm doing something wrong. So why does this happen? Where does this come from? This comes from your past. This comes from a state of being traumatized when you were younger. And I wanna really, really emphasize this, that our world has this funky view of what trauma is because it's kind of a hot go word. But trauma is literally just anything that prevents your nervous system from reaching safety, from reaching a regulated state of balance for you to be able to be yourself. And when you're not able to be yourself, you act in different ways, like you have anxiety, you feel depressed, you don't have clarity, you people please. Those are all the parts that will come out when you're not able to be balanced and be into yourself. So trauma isn't just like for people that have gone to war or have had really bad experiences. Like I suffered a bad car accident when I was in my twenties, I almost died when I had birth to my first child. You know, those are like more severe, big tease trauma, what they say, but trauma, which is most the world has experienced is smaller interactions that accumulate over time, which I think of trauma as essentially just not having your needs met. When you don't have your needs met as a child, you go out into the world realizing, are people going to meet my needs? And so you're constantly scanning the environment, looking for people to meet your needs, and you're not able to meet your needs yourself. And so it's very, very, very confusing. You know, trauma can look like I had to be the peacekeeper in my family, which I totally did. I wonder if a lot of you can relate to that. I had to be the one to not show my emotions fully because, you know, I had to hold it all in because maybe my mother, and this is something I get into the Mother of All Wounds program, maybe my mother expressed a lot of anxiety, expressed a lot of anger. And so I had to really keep a balanced level in the household so that she could manage her emotions. She wouldn't feel too overwhelmed because of me. Now think about how much that plays a part in how I'm going to then interact with the world if I'm constantly expecting other people, expecting to have to meet other people's needs before I meet my own needs. That's crazy, that's insane. That puts a lot of pressure on myself. So what's actually happening in our body when we experience trauma? So what happens is that our body becomes more predisposed to threats, to, to looking for the bad things that are gonna happen to us. Our nervous system is like a barometer. So if we experience things, don't get our needs met, don't feel safe, the barometer is gonna to point towards looking for the things that don't feel safe. And that's called the power of neuroception. Your, your body has a power called neuroception in it. And it's, it's basically like a computer system in the background asking, am I safe? Am I safe? Am I safe? And if you've had experience where you haven't felt safe before, it's gonna be more predisposed to say, mm -mm, you are not safe. You are not safe because of that person's body language, because of that person's tone of voice, because of the words, the key words that they are using with. You are not safe because of the environment, the things that you're noticing in your environment that cause you to go, to get tight in your body. And so if you don't feel safe, 
this is going to translate this is not just in your everyday life. This is also going to translate in your business. And I didn't make, realize that, to be honest. You know, there was a big aha moment for me to realize, okay, so I've been healing, but also I have to translate this healing of feeling safe, not just in my life every day with my family, with my friends in my community. I have to translate this into my business because what I realized is that no, I don't feel safe in my business. I don't feel like the things that I'm creating, that I'm doing really do matter. I don't feel like when I um, express something to somebody there, I had a client once that told me, you know, I'm really afraid that when I open up my DMs from somebody, even a, especially a client, and I see something from her, that it's going to be something bad or if she has a question or has feedback on a project for me, I automatically think I did something bad, I did something wrong, I messed up here. And this woman who I've also worked in her services, she's incredible, she's amazing, she's this amazing creator and she has so much to give and her work is, is like I said, amazing. And I never had anything, you know, anything bad to say about her. And she told me, you know, I felt like sometimes you thought poorly of me or you didn't think I was doing a good job. And that's a story in her mind that neuroception created for her. That's not based in reality. That's not based in, in her experiences. Because if she was able to shift her state from being dysregulated into a different state, which is feeling balanced, which is called ventral vagal in your nervous system, she would see something different. She would be able to open up her DMs and not have that automatic bodily response and thought reaction that she's done something wrong. And what I just said there is that it starts with your body. Your body is reacting to something because your autonomic nervous system is the first one to take it in. And so how does this play into manifestation? Well, those body sensations, those thoughts, those emotions, all of that are like kind of like the surface level. Underneath everything, starting with the body, is your rooting beliefs. And we get these rooting, limiting beliefs before the age of 10, which is insane. And so if they usually start with the word I. So if you don't think I don't matter, I'm not good enough, I'm stupid, then literally anything you do in your life and business, you're going to have these intermittent thoughts, these emotions, these bodily responses that are going to reflect those beliefs. Our limiting beliefs are literally the lens in which we see the world and the world that we are able to create. And so this is literally why I feel that blocking into your body and understanding your nervous system, understanding these cheat codes, healing deeply will transform because I've seen in my own life and business, the way that you are able to move through the world. Because if you are able to get to those rooting beliefs and shape them, and you do that through the body, you will be able to call in everything you have ever wanted. And that doesn't maybe mean it's going to look exactly how you want it because manifestation has its own timeline and maybe something better is coming for you. But that's how you feel safe in who you are and what you're about to do. So if you have any questions, I know we went a little bit over time, about 20 minutes today, but I was just so excited to share this with you. There's going to be homework and you should have got an email today and that homework, I really want you to try it out because it's going to make a difference. Healing doesn't happen in big, huge, giant steps. I mean, there are huge steps that people take, but healing really happens in those baby steps. So the little things that you do for yourself every day are going to make the most dramatic difference in your life. To even just put a hand on your heart to tell yourself you're safe. That's you regulating your nervous system. That's you shaping your life. That's you transforming your business. So 
if you are able to pop into that email and, and I will also post it on the Facebook group as a reminder and then post it into the group with the hashtag manifest abundance uh, 2023 and day one you will actually be um, entered into I'm going to get a raffle for a $20 gift card at the end of this and also you are included in secret bonuses all of you participants that signed up so please try the homework out and let me know what you think you don't have to post all of it on there but there are certain questions I think that would be really helpful for you to share with the group and just see what each other is experiencing because the number one thing is that connection is the most healing thing in the world and so if we can do this together that's how we heal so again I just want to thank all of you so much for coming um, and thank you for sharing this time with me and if you have any questions, remember, you can always ask me. I am an open book. So, all right. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you so much for coming.